Damn, my makeup looks so good. We should oh take a God. selfie. I'm feeling myself. Ellen just <laughs> came in today being like, I look amazing. <laughs> I'm amazing. Self love. Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today we're gonna be doing a monthly favorites video. We haven't done one in a while. So, these... so they're not monthly, but they're yeah. just a favorite. <laughs> Current favorites. These are all the things we've been loving. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. I think we're gonna start with fashion because we don't have that many beauty favorites at the moment, but we've got lots of fashion. Do you wanna go first? Go for it. Okay, so we're kicking it off with a really summery looking color. This is actually a hat, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> it's a gingham hat um, from the this. New Zealand brand Ruby. And I got it in their New Year's sales because I've been eyeing it up for a while. They have a whole range in this really pretty purple gingham fabric. But I wanted a hat to run with because, you know, 2020 started running fitness goals. Um, and, and I needed a hat. Is why... This is why my face is so pale compared to my arms. Yeah, this explains <laughs> it. There we go. Yes. <laughs> um, but you know, sun. Sun smart and all that, but also it's, I don't know, I just feel more comfortable running and working out in a hat. I don't know what it is. It's because I feel like less people can see me. But if anything, probably more people can see me because it's a purple hat. I feel like you just get in the zone though, and it kind of like, I don't mm. know. Because I do the same. I have a little pink Nike hat that mm. I love. I was inspired by your pink Nike oh, hat. Thanks. Just really inflating my head even more. <laughs> My first fashion favorite, I can't actually show you because it's a bra and that would be inappropriate for the internet. <laughs> but this was also a purchase I made during my New Year's shopping. It was a great New Year's sale. And it's from the New Zealand brand Lonely Lingerie. And my friends Erin and Eliza recommended uh, I try out some of their bras because they used to work in like Bend On, which is like a big bra lingerie retailer. So I always trust their opinion. They're like my number one for bra info. I'm like, what, what should I be buying guys? Anyway, that was kind of a long story. But I got this really, really pretty black halter neck one, which is my favorite. And you can kind of see like a bit of the back in this particular top. Can you see you it? You didn't get it on the camera. There we go. Can you see it? There we yeah. go. Um, and it's just super comfy and it's like all lace, but it's still got like underwire. So it's like got the comfy bralette style, but it's still supportive, but you wouldn't know. Uh, continuing on the fitness theme for my favorites because it's January and I'm a cliche. These are a pair of workout pants from Kmart that I got for Christmas. I actually had to return them and size up two sizes what? because apparently Kmart sizes are smaller than I thought or my butt is bigger than I thought. I don't know. But the point is they fit now <laughs> and they're in a grey leopard print and Alan just saw them before and was like, that's like you in a print, grey and it's leopard print, so yeah. That's all of Tara's favourite things. Just a bit fun, you know, like when you've been wearing your workout gear for a while it's nice to get a new fun piece mm. to reinvigorate your excitement to that exercise. So as you guys know, I went to Bali in December. There's a vlog that I made. If you want to go check that out, we'll link it up above. Um, but while I was there, I did a little bit of shopping. Um, I went to this really beautiful jewelry store that the woman at my retreat recommended and it's called Fine Line. I'll try to link their website in the description box. Um, but they make the most beautiful, dainty jewelry. Let's see if it will focus if I do a close up. Um, so this came in a set of two, so you can wear them separately or you can wear them together if it'll focus. They're gold plated and they were a really good price. Um, this one is just like a simple rope. No, it's Detail. focusing no, on our stop focusing on our faces, focus on the drink. Drinks, rings. I can't speak. So my next favorite has been featured in our 2020 trainers video and it is this dress which I made which if I look at too closely, I get annoyed at because I didn't make it very well. Really? I still love the concept. I, no one else can tell. Yeah, I can't tell. Way. It looks great. You to can't me. tell. It looks great. But um, <laughs> it is one of those tear dresses. It's very flowy. It's cotton, so it's nice and breathy. For, breathy. 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 Beautiful. For Come summer. <laughs> it's not cover girl. <laughs> Sometimes it's just nice to chuck on a really easy to wear, comfy dress in summer, especially when it's hot. My last fashion favorite is my new backpack and I did a whole video on this as well so you can check that out but I have been now using it for two and a half months I think and I'm obsessed with it. I was gifted this from the brand Nordis and they also gave us a discount code for 20% off if you guys want to use that but I want to use my own discount code and buy another one because they're just so cool like they've got so many pockets and components so I have my laptop in here 
to then like I was coming over to Tara's house so I put like my camera, the microphone, my gym gear, my sunglasses, my hairbrush, all of my beauty products, like everything in here and I still had room to spare. It was fantastic. Is that a USB charger? Yeah. Have you not watched my video? I did but I forget. Yeah. So you can plug it into your like power bank in there and then you oh, plug your wow. phone cord in there so you don't have to have it in there. Wow. Head. It's so cool and a lot of people have asked me in the comments of this video how like the fabric wears because obviously it's very pale so you're kind of worried about getting mm, it dirty. It looks brand new. Pretty good. I <laughs> I spilled hot chocolate all over it when I was in Hawke's oh, Bay the other weird. weekend. You can see one little bit there on the oh, strap. Oh, I can't even see it. But uh, you won't be able to see it on the video. But I basically, if it gets any sort of dirt on it, I just use like a baby wipe kind of thing and wipe it down and it's fine. I've been like taking it on hikes as well and like putting it down in the dirt because I use it as my tripod to take self time photos. So I like put it down and then balance my camera on. Um, but yeah, it's worn really well and I really want to get another one. It's such great quality. I really struggled to think of a beauty favorite that was different than our last video because I talked about quite a lot of things that I still really like and are using that haven't run out yet. Um, but I did think of one thing that I don't think I've talked about yet and it is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Moisturizer. Um, it reminds me a lot of the Clinique, um, the Clinique one in the pink jar, there's one in like moisture a purple surge? jar. Yeah, kind of moisture surgy. It's part of that range. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's just a really nice, super hydrating moisturizer. But because it's a gel, it soaks in and it doesn't leave your skin feeling really oily, which is something I found I've got really annoyed at with skin oils, is I just don't like them. I hate it when they don't soak into my skin. I love that feeling. Oh, like when you wake up in the morning feeling. and you can still feel it, I'm like, No, yes. that is the worst. Oh and I hate like, because I feel like I sleep on my pillow and then I'm transferring it. I just don't like it at all. So this soaks in really easily, but it leaves your skin just feeling so nice and hydrated and plump. And I feel like this is one part of my skincare routine that's really helped my skin. I went through a patch of really patchy, dry, gross bits, and then I switched to this, and it's been really great. So it might not just be that. Maybe I just started eating better again as well and drinking lots of water, but yeah, really like this moisture. So I have two beauty favorites and they're things that I actually just only bought a couple of weeks ago. The first one is a nail polish and as you all know, I quit my job. I think I mentioned that in every video and started my own business. So it's doing really well, but I'm still on a little bit of a budget as you are as a freelancer and a business owner. Um, so getting my nails done is not in the budget. And I decided to purchase some new nail polish so I could just do it at home a lot cheaper. And I picked up this Revlon Colorstay Gel Envy one. It is in the shade 350 to the chapel. Oh, <laughs> that's a bit sad now that I read that. <laughs> anyway. Um, I've always really liked Ripple nail polish. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Just laughing at the name. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright. My life is so sad. <laughs> Uh, see, now I really like this color and now every time I use it, I'm just gonna look at the name and be like, you're not getting married. <laughs> Our memory card just filled up, so we have to start again, but I was talking about my nail polish. Um, and yeah, basically I love Revlon nail polishes. I've had them a lot over the years and I find they last really well um, in terms of like in the bottle. And they're also really good at like not chipping. And I bought two earlier this month and this one, the Gel Envy range, definitely is the best at like lasting and not chipping. I want to try some now. Yeah. I've been influenced. It made me like fall in love with nail polish again. The other new thing I picked up was the Living Proof Dry Shampoo from their Perfect Hair Day range, I think. I'd seen this a lot on YouTube and it is like kind of pricey. It's more expensive than the Batiste one. But the Batiste Dry Shampoo like creates havoc with my scalp. It gets itchy, starts flaking everywhere. And like, it's also just such like a gritty dry shampoo. Whereas this one, it actually makes my hair so soft and silky. Like it's amazing. And it works really well at like sucking away all of the oil. I'll put this in and then I'll, my hair will be fine for like two days. And I have extremely oily hair. I usually wash it every second day. And on the second day, it's literally like an oil slick. It's not, it's not cute. So this has been great for me. Where do you buy it and how much is it? It's from Mecca and I think it was $40. Ouch. <laughs> but it's so good. We usually do like movies, TV shows, and books now, but do you have any? Um, I have not finished any books. 
I tried to start some and failed. Um, and I haven't seen any movies, but I have watched some TV. Number one is The Witcher. Great. Henry Cavill. <laughs> Fantasy. Great. Ellen started watching it. I've watched 16 minutes and I got bored, but I think I- But I sent her a picture of the bathtub scene and now she's gonna keep watching <laughs> Let's it. Let's just insert that gif right here of Henry Cavill in the bathtub. But no, I think it was- I wasn't in the right mood and it's kind of like conf I mean, it I is, found- I found it confusing. Yeah. If you haven't played the game. Yeah, it is typical like just a fantasy show where you're like, what the- what are you? What is that? It's very like- throw you in the deep end character wise and then they also don't tell you that there's timeline changing so they're like flipping between times in the story so later on you're like wait those people are dead and then you're like oh this is back in time it took me like a few episodes but yeah i'm getting way too over excited but number two is the mandalorian <laughs> <laughs> which is a show on Disney Plus and it's in the Star Wars universe about a Mandalorian um, but he's not the main character. He is technically the main character but the main focus for me is Baby Yoda who is not Yoda but he, he looks like Yoda so everyone just calls him Baby Yoda. He's technically called the child but um, <laughs> <laughs> he's just so cute. Oh my god. I really want to rewatch it just because of Baby Yoda. Is it finished now? Yes. Yeah. Third time. So, if you want to get the Disney Plus 7 day trial, you can probably binge watch it. Just a, just a wee tip there. Oh my god, speaking of Disney Plus, when does Lizzie McGuire come out? I don't know, but one. I'm so excited that will be in oh, our favourites when my it comes gosh. out. Let us know if you guys are excited if you're going to be watching that, because I'm, I'm hyped. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really, I haven't really been watching that much TV, to be honest. I watched this random as like, ice skating show on oh, Netflix. Yeah. What was it, it called? Is it called Spinning Out? Yes, Spinning Out, that's the one. And I just clicked on it because it came up on Netflix and I was putting something on in the background while I was working and then I ended up not working and just binge watching that. Um, and it was pretty good, like kind of like cheesy ice skating TV show, kind of low budget, kind of a little Is it a documentary? No, no, it's like a drama. Oh, okay. About a girl who like has an accident and then she can't skate anymore but then she's like trying to come back and be a skater and then she's like scared because like she hit her head last time. And then it's also got some like quite like serious like mental health storylines mixed in with it which I found quite interesting. Yeah. Like it wasn't like super cheesy or superficial or anything like that. I also binge watched season three of The Crown finally and I watched all the episodes in the space of two days. I just oh sat God. there and was just like play and they're like... <laughs> It's really good, although not as good as the previous two seasons. That also reminded me that I watched Cheer, but Cheer is actually a documentary. It's like real life cheerleaders. It's really good. It's just so engaging and I got real into it. And now I follow some of them on Instagram because I was like, oh my gosh, I love That's Cherry. The <laughs> I feel like- Cherry's the best. <laughs> I feel like, especially for like, People like New Zealanders like us, we always find any movie or TV show about cheerleading so fascinating because mm. I feel like it's not as big in New Zealand. Yeah. So it's like this whole like culture of cheerleading and all the competitions and stuff. It's I so think, interesting. I think it's also fascinating because in our university system, sports isn't a big thing. We mm. like we have volunteer sports clubs and stuff, but there it's like a whole industry making a whole lot of money and it's like super high level competition yeah like lots of people go to uni to play sports like but they don't really sport. like care about what they're studying yeah you can get a full scholarship with sports so it's so interesting oh there's a cat do we let them in can they be our favorite do you want to be in our favorite video generally hi hello <laughs> she's gonna get white fur all over your top it's fine it's worth it hello should we um. put it on the thumbnail <laughs> <laughs> click me yo jelly jelly look at the camera oh. Okay, I don't actually have any more favorites, so we can just end with Jelly being here. Do you Jelly Bean being our favorite. Stay. Oh um, my god, oh, she's so she's cute. Cuddly. Um, I was gonna add in another <laughs> random favorite related to my fitness. Yeah. Which is my Zombie Run 5K app. Oh yeah. So it's like Couch to 5K, but instead of being like run, stop running, walk, it's like there's a zombie coming, you have to run. <laughs> <laughs> and there's like a whole storyline about these survivors after the zombie apocalypse and you go and collect resources on your runs and stuff. What's the actual app called? Zombie Run 5k. Som zombie Run 5k? I think so. Is it free? 
No, it's a paid for one. But... <laughs> it's so classic that you'd pay for something like that. <laughs> it is worth it, let me tell you. Thanks for watching. I think that concludes the favorites video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it so we can do more of these. I quite enjoy form filming them because they're just like mm. chatting. It's kind of nice to reflect and like collect some fun things too. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. We're free. Bye. -bye. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Oh, oh, she wants to go. She's finally getting annoyed with and my shit. I'm, I'm